Immediately after the start of the reboot, continuously press a certain key on the keyboard to bring up the boot menu. I press the F12 key, for you it could be EB, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key, there is no single standard and different computers may have different keys to call the boot menu. The boot menu opens, find the installation USB flash drive or DVD in the boot menu, press enter. A window opens, and here we see all the disks connected to the computer, as well as several small system partitions. The disk and several small partitions under number 0 are the disk with Windows 11 and they should not be touched under any circumstances, so as not to lose data. The disk and small partition under number 1 are the new SSD and now it is necessary to delete the disk and partition number 1 to create unallocated space for installing Windows 10. To start installing Windows 10, you need to click on disk number 1, and press, next.